All right. As you all know, I've been having some nitrate problems. And I want to tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing, what steps I'm taking to try to solve this issue. Now, I bought a new dual reactor from from uh, Bulk Reef Supply, which I'm going to run some phosphate media and some hydrocarbon. Hydrocarbon too. Thanks to New York Stilo, he put me onto this stuff. It works like a charm. And this is the phosphate media I'm running right now. Phosphate R absorption resin, which um, actually claims to work better than well actually claims to be far more effective than activated alumina and granular ferric products so I've never had any problems using granular ferric oxide I think the stuff works like a charm but this stuff says it works better as you can see it's pretty expensive forty two ninety nine for this little last thing but I mean this is from the local fish store I'm sure you could get it cheaper online and it, you have to use a lot less of this than the GFO I mean as you can see I put more than needed the reactor's not on right now but um, I put more than double dose in there and you can see how much of how much space it takes up in the reactor barely any it's very fine so make sure you have a few pads I got one there another one on top so it should be alright and then I got the hydrocarbon in there but this is not really what the video is about the video is about the nitrates and I'm gonna show you my tank cuz I'm gonna make a few updates to see if this stuff is really gonna work diva get out of here all right, this is the stuff I got to use for my nitrates. The BRS bulk reef supply bio pellets, thousand milliliters. You need about five hundred milliliters per, say, a hundred gallons of tank. So about two hundred fifty milliliters per fifty gallons. This stuff is made out of some polyphenol. I don't even know how to say it. If you go on the website, you can look it up stuff is pretty expensive it's about I paid seventy four ninety nine for it from the local fish store five dollars more than what they're charging online for it I mean I bought the reactor and the uh, pellets for the a little bit over it was like a hundred and something dollars like sixty nine ninety nine for the reactor and the dual reactor and seventy four ninety nine for the pellets so you do the math but um, one thing you gotta make sure with this stuff I bought the dual reactor because before I was running the GFO and the carbon in one reactor but now when you buy the bio pellets it is said that you cannot run them in a dual reactor you have to run them separately for them to work properly so put the GFO and the carbon out and I have another reactor back here which I added the bio pellets in as you can see they take about four to eight weeks to accumulate the necessary bacteria needed to drop nitrates drop your nitrates so I have them in a slow tumble right now they're all moving but um as I said you have to make sure that you put them in their own separate reactor and also make sure that the exit that the exit of the of the outlet pipe of the the reactor is going very close to the the skimmer pump it says that you want it to be exiting right into the skimmer pump so the skimmer can remove the excess nutrients that is being given off so as you can see I have that now with the nitrate problems I had a fluval the reason why I bought this dual chamber is because I had the fluval running the carbon also. 
And I mean, as you know, Fluval's a nitrate factory, and I just wanted to get rid of it. So I went with the reactor instead. So, little recap is I got the dual reactor with the hydrocarbon and the phosphate resin from Brightwell Aquatics called Phosphate R. That's the carbon I'm using. Once again, thanks to Stilo. And this is the phosphate resin I'm using from Brightwell Aquatics. So, right now I don't have it on because the bio pellets instruct on the website that for them to really get started properly, they need a bit of phosphates in the water to really produce the necessary bacteria needed for the um, for the for the nitrate reduction. So as of right now, I'm not running the phosphate media or the carbon, but about a week I'll turn that back on. After the, I've been running the bio pellet for about two three days now. So after about a week, after they really start to uh, maybe a little bit longer, start to nitrify some bacteria in there, then I'll turn this back on. But um, so like I said, I got rid of the fluval, and I also finally got my skimmer working properly. It's skimming a little wet right now, but to show you that it is pulling, it is coming up. So finally I got this sucker working, working properly. All right, I'm very happy about that. It's finally working like a charm for me, so. I also got the uh, Calerpa, which is growing. Slowly but surely it is growing. And I did want to show you the tank because I'm going to be making updates. You know, like as I said, I'm trying to keep the lights off for a little bit less. Get rid of this freaking algae. But as I said, the, uh, the algae is crazy on my gravel. You ready? I don't think you guys are ready for this. It looks horrendous. Look at that. Oh boy, that's horrible. Disgusting. Can't stand it. I don't know how it came, but I mean, I know my nitrates are there, so my nitrates are at about 30 ppm right now, so I know that's why it's here. Look at how dark that stuff is, man. Brown, man. Ugh. So yeah, I want to make some. Uh, I'm gonna make some updates. This is gonna be update number one, and uh, I'll probably make another update about this whole situation in four weeks to see where where it went. I'm not gonna touch the gravel. I'm not gonna siphon it purposely because I want to see I want to see if this stuff really starts disappearing I'll do a little water change you know but other than that I'm not gonna touch the gravel so every update the gravel is gonna be the determining factor on whether it's getting better staying the same or worse so we'll leave it at that then until next update thanks for watching Hope this helps. Any comments, questions, suggestions, feel free to leave them. Thank you.